Yeah, so I'm here. Y'all all know me, I guess, by now. Y'all probably watched some of my videos, which are very boring. I don't know if this one's going to be more exciting. But I do know I am rather hyper off these Kool-Aid singles. Woo! And it is like 4 in the morning. Actually, it's like 10 minutes after 4, so. And I got my Mardi Gras braids on. Braids? <laughs> I can't even talk. I got my Mardi Gras beads on. It's all cool. It's all good. This is my jam right here. Beyonce jamming it out. But um, anyway, this video is a story about the first time I got drunk. Now there is a good story. This is a story that always gets told wherever I go. For the people who were there, it was very traumatizing. For me. This is annoying me. For me. It was very traumatizing, actually. See, what had happened was, um, me and my friends, we like, we went to this hotel place, and like I said, I wasn't gonna drink. I was just gonna drive, because that's what I did last time. I, vi I videotaped everything, and I uh, drove them home, and they were safe, and it was all good, and I felt all good, because I was the designated driver person. I'm all happy. Yay! I did a good deed. I made sure my friends didn't kill themselves in the car crash. That's not what happened this time. That's not what happened at all. See, as I was saying, what happened? Sorry, ADHD. Oh, they don't stop snapping. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, see what happened was, at first the day started out with me on the phone with one of my friend's girlfriends because she was tripping because he lied to her about smoking and she's like, oh, you lied to me, now I'm gonna break up with you. And I was like, give me the phone, I'll stop your girlfriend from breaking up with you, blah, blah, blah. So I talked to her for a while and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna talk to her, I'm not gonna drink. I'm not going to drink. Soon as she got off the phone, someone handed me a glass and I started to drink. Now I don't know what convinced me to drink because I don't I don't do the whole peer pressure do it thing. I don't give a fuck if everybody's doing it. I mean, well actually maybe I do give into the whole peer pressure thing because like everybody was watching that BME Pain Olympics thing a second ago. So I decided to watch it and that shit was horrible. Horrible. I mean like damn. Who the hell would do that to themselves? So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But anyway, yeah, after watching them do all this stuff, like my roommate and my other friend, both male, almost kissed. While I was on the phone with dude's girlfriend, I'm like, your boyfriend's over here about to kiss on my roommate, and yeah, it was funny. She was like, please get a videotape of that. But, you know, I was too busy talking to her, so I couldn't get a videotape. It was a close call, though. And then, like... Yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on, so I don't know what made me grab the bottle and be like, hey, I'm gonna go get crazy too, but I did. And apparently, when I drink, I turn straight. Because I jumped on my friend Megan and told her I could fuck both ways. And I think I scared her because she thought I meant it. But then I'll, I might also be very homo. I guess I'm bisexual when I drink because there was a guy there and he was going to take a shower and I followed him straight up in there and he was like, get your gay ass up out of here. <laughs> And then, like, before we had started drinking, we had went to Taco Bell, and I was in the drive-thru, and I'm with the lady, and I specifically told that bitch that I did not want, did not, no, I said this, like, three times, no sour cream on my damn taco, because sour cream is the nastiest shit in the world, that's shit, it's gross. I don't know why the hell they put it on tacos, that stuff is gross, nasty, and teeth, nasty. And I get back to the hotel, I get out, all the tacos got some damn sour cream on it. Now, I knew there might be a possibility that I might drink just in case, so I wanted to eat. And I hadn't ate all day anyway. You see, I'm a skinny twig, I don't eat that much, so I needed some food. So I scarfed down the tacos without chewing, without even thinking about it. So later on, I start drinking, I get real drunk, I'm jumping up on the bed, I'm falling off the bed into the heel, um, the heater thingy. I'm rolling around on the flow. I'm taking all my clothes off. Well, not really. That was the second time I got drunk. But, um, yeah. Next thing I know, I fall asleep. I don't remember falling asleep. I just remember laying on the bed. And then I, next thing I know, I passed out. And then I wake up and throw up. I do not remember throwing up. Not at all. All I know is that I woke up and it's really smelled. There are big orange chocolate chunks of food everywhere and I just because I didn't chew that taco I didn't chew it at all so uh, yeah they had to call the little gay boy downstairs 
who I had ran downstairs when I was drunk earlier and had been like, hey, he's gay, ain't he? And yeah, he was. And I was like, he's cute. And so when I wake up and there's vomit everywhere, and like they have him over there vacuuming it up in a vacuum. Now who vacuums vomit? I really want to know. That is gross. You are not supposed to vacuum vomit. But they had a vacuum and they were vacuuming it up. I didn't help at all. I was just, I was really gone. I was just like, oh, it's the cute gay boy. And then I passed out again. And then the next thing I know, I wake up on the bed. These guys then went out and got some McDonald's. And they're like, you need to eat. You need to eat something. And I was like, I'm not hungry because I did not feel good. And then my... Megan's friend decides that I really need to eat. So tell me why. I'm on the bed and he grabs me by my shirt. He ripped my clothes off. He ripped my damn shirt. It was one of the best shirts I had, one of my favorites, and nigga ripped it. Just ripped it right off my body. And I was like, great. And then I passed out again. Yup. I remember waking up the next morning, being really sick. I had the shakes. I was cold. I felt like I was gonna throw up again, which I did when I got back to the dorm. I couldn't drive, so I had to let my roommate drive us back. And it was just really, really terrible. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> um, um, this song's so old. Yeah, and then the day after I get drunk, cause we got drunk on a Tuesday, right? No, we got drunk on a Monday, because we didn't have, it was a three day weekend. So I had a midterm, not a midterm, a final on Tuesday, an acting final. Flex, haha. -ha. There ain't nothing to flex. Um, where was I? <laughs> Didn't distract it. Oh yeah, final, in acting. So I'm taking my acting final in the middle, I, I shouldn't have went anyway, I was really sick. In the middle of my acting final, I just, it was, we were in a small room and the bathroom was like right there in the classroom. So I run to the bathroom and just start puking and the whole class is like outside the door listening to me puke. Luckily, the teacher was understanding, and she let me go home, and she let me retake that final. And I was sick for four, count them, uno, dos, tres, cuatro? Yeah. Four days. I was sick for four days. And from now on, I do not eat Taco Bell. I do not drink Blue Hawaiian Punch. I can't even look at Blue Hawaiian Punch. That stuff makes me so sick. I don't even know why the hell I drink that stuff. I drank, like, 12 glasses of, I think it was Smirnoff? Mixed with because I was trying to show off and be all cool and stuff, and it was not cool. It was not cool at all. It was just wasn't. And then I was like, I'm not getting drunk again, never. Never again in my life will I ever pick up alcohol or nothing. Okay, a couple of days, a couple of months later, second semester, I got drunk in really bad first semester, but then second semester, I get drunk. And then next thing I know, I'm in the room with all my friends, and we done all took our clothes off. We are stripped to our underwear. It's, it's effing ridiculous. I mean, like, and then me and my roommate, I mean, we were just gone. I put on my friend's high heels, and I'm walking around, people taking pictures. And I'm thinking I'm looking like the shit. And then we walk back over to, like, our dorm, and I'm on the floor, and I'm crawling and stuff. And we stopped by this one dude's room, and he really pissed me off because he let my roommate in. But he was like, no, nah, the fag, no, nah, he got to stay outside. And I was like, what? And then I got, like, really depressed drunk, and then, like, I crawled to my room. And we had this poster outside our room where it's like, um, put up your worst fears. And I started putting up a whole bunch of dumb shit. Like, if I might be straight, I put like, I don't know. It's still out there. Yeah. <laughs> it was embarrassing. I went and crossed out some stuff when I woke up in the morning. I was like, I put that down? Oh my god. Yeah, so that's my story. Stay away from drugs and stay away from alcohol. It is not good. It is not good at all. It will not help you. The sun come out. <laughs> you can tell I'm gay. Look at my iPod. It is so bad. Why does sound so old? Yeah, I only have a couple more minutes on this video, so I'm just gonna let it run. See what happens. <gasps> Ugh, now I got the hiccups. And my butt hurts from sitting on this damn chair. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, I can do better. You can do it. Do it. I love Avril Lavigne, by the way. Every song she's ever written. Yes, even her new CD. I love it. I love it all. Oh. I gotta pee.